another star at United that's just gotten destroyed. Oh, this, this, this topic right here, I got to get into. I really got to get into this. And I was fortunate, I was fortunate to be on a, on a show, on a YouTube show with, um, two, two city fan. All right. And he, and he had, he had a panel on there. Shout out to everybody. I'll make sure to put their links in the in the description. But Patrick and Carl were giving some great insight with regards to UEFA and this cap that's coming down the pipeline with regards to club spending. And in addition to that, I was able to learn about this new um this new agent rule that's going to be applied and be put into effect, right? And I'm going to have to make sure that I'm accurate, and I'll, I will talk about this again, so I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. But from what I understand, that in April, and I believe it's April 10th, I think it's April 10th that the new agent rules or cap rules are going to be put into the mix, right? The new agent rules are going to be put into the mix. And what, and essentially what it is, is there's 3% that an agent can get off of salary, right? So player salary, agent gets 3%. And then for all transfer fees, the agent will get 10%. Let me just tell you, the percentages that agents get now, kill that number, crush that number, all right? That this is a serious change to how agents' business and revenue income, that, that's going to change a lot, all right? So because of this rule, and this is the reason for my reason for the title of the show is well because one of the major agents out there represents some of the best athletes and the agent for Erlen Holland is going to be hugely affected by this new rule and we know this agent to be for his money you know I mean He's for his money. He's gonna, he does what it takes for his client, right? But he also makes sure he gets his. And this 3%, 10% rule that's going to be kicking in in April is why Erlen Holland is soon to be agreed, like contracts going to be agreed to, it's going to be signed, and it's going to be announced. And I happen to believe if the date that I saw was correct with regards to this rule happen, happening, is I happen to believe that all that's going to be announced in essentially less than 10 days, 11 days. So before April 10th, the Erlen Holland drama, sweepstakes, lottery, is going to be included. And then... And the reason why it needs to be is because the agent himself is going to make sure that he can get the most. And he can't get the most if it happens after that date. All right? And I think that will be a leverage point from an agent standpoint on why things are going to move. Things have, bi have been moving very quickly. Um, and shout out, to, shout out to Patrick, shout out to Carl for just making that information available. And getting the wheels turning with regards to this idea and this theory that I have. But I'm not, too, I'm not stressed too much about the acquisition. I think based off of so many, so many of the rumors that are out there that it's happening. But I'm also confident that it's going to get announced really quickly because of this rule that's in effect. I, re I really do. I think this rule is going to make things turn around really, really quickly.